Uh, stop that. Warning. Emergency power only. Power restored. All primary systems online. Hey, hi, hello. My name is Naps, and welcome back to Subnautica Part 9. Today, uh, like I said last time, we will be just having a fairly chill episode, uh, not doing anything particularly crazy just after the nonsense of last episode. Um, so, how much- oh, wait. I want to put all of this back. need the radiation helmet. Um, I'm going to... Oh god, how much titanium do I have? None. Okay then. Uh, oh, um, that is a spine fish, which I will cook and eat because I need it. Sure, let's check our messages. This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. I feel like the coordinates are always corrupted. Is that just me? Alright. Um okay. Let's... Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. We're gonna go forward a little bit so that I don't bump into the ceiling again. Um So we're gonna head in the general direction of the life pod. Um because somewhere in that uh, creep vine forest, there's going to be ooh, titanium thingers uh, that we can turn into titanium. Nope. 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 Boom! And just like that, 12 pieces of titanium. Stop! Oh my god! These stupid red fish, I hate them. Oh! Hello? Okay, which I did already. Oh, and nice. Okay, that should be enough titanium to serve my immediate needs. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. That's weird. I thought, I don't know, for some reason, I thought one of those reef backs was hanging upside down, like with the three tentacle things pointing down toward the sea floor. I was weirded out for, for a good second there. But that's okay. Because that is all that I am doing today. 
I am going back down. I am parking. And we're going to have a very chill day constructing our base and just talking subnautica theories because I can. Welcome aboard, Captain. Fabricator. Nope. Look at all the titanium we have. That is... Okay. Now hang on. What is this? Uh, um, what's here? That's kind of cool, actually. Um, so do I need anything up here? No, I don't. Um, oh, no. De deconstruct the hatch. We're gonna deconstruct this. And just make a bunch of vertical connectors. Hang on. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead times two. Uh-oh. Okay, well, hang on. Uh, titanium ingot, lubricant, lead times two. We're going to start by building the moon pool. Um, and then... Will connect to the moon pool, and I think um, I think I'm gonna have my bedroom be on the second floor. Uh, and lead times two. What are the chances? Uh, that's lithium. Damn. All right. Um, 
we're gonna go hunting for uh, lead. But before we do, uh, let's listen to something because I can. Data downloads, codes and clues, life pod seven. Ah. Oh, so that's in the um, sparse reef. Oh, um, alien. Yeah, I read that. Um, oh, note to self. A phase gate. That's interesting. I thought, um, I thought only the precursors knew how to use phase gates. Mm. Because, I mean, the precursors have those warping phase gates, of course, but also at the end of Below Zero, um, which I'm not going to talk about just yet because this is, uh, this is Subnautica, and I've already said that this will be a s spoiler playthrough of Subnautica, but I don't want to spoil Below Zero, even though I have played it already. But that's just really interesting. Um... From Huggins to Wilson. So, wait. So, Yoki Kassar was part of the Mongolian... Uh, he was a Mongolian looking, f looking for information about the Degasi, which was a Mongolian vessel But uh, Paul Togart was the captain of that vessel. He most certainly was not Mongolian, nor was his son, nor was Marguerite. Um, I mean, it's possible that all of the other crew of the Degasi were Mongolian. But it's just interesting that the only surviving crew members of the Mongolian vessel are not Mongolian. But then again, I mean, we are assuming this is set way in the future. Um, and so it could be totally normal to have a bunch of, like, a British person and a Scottish person, like, living in Mongolia as, um, like, natives of Mongolia. I don't know. It just, I don't know. Is it weird? I don't know. Um... The vice president of Torgal Corp. He was 19. Enhanced learning techniques and cerebral implants. Born in the Mongolian state. Okay, so Marguerite was born in the Mongolian states dishonorably discharged going off mission okay uh yeah 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 
Okay. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last to recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Huh. And that's how you get the blueprints for the Neptune. Um... Am I going to build the Neptune? Ugh. You know what, I think I'll do it... Like, one last episode, just for... Like, just for completion value. But, I mean, personally speaking, I don't like the thought of getting off 4546B. I really don't. Oh. Seek fluid intake. Oh. Vital signs stabilizing. Um. Huh. Interesting. Uh, oh. Yikes. Ariadne arm. Huh. What I know, from what I know of um, Ariadne, she was um, I think it was Ariadne who helped Theseus escape that maze thing with the Bull of Minos. Um, and they were gonna elope together, but then he betrayed her and left her on the beach. Uh, and then Dionysus found her and made her his wife. Um, I'm just wondering how the myth of Ariadne uh, fits in with this story of Altera. Hmm. I'm just wondering. Yeah, how the myth of Ariadne fits in with this Aurora stuff, but... Oh well. 
I'll think about it. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. That's weird. That's weird. See, this is why I, I wouldn't want to go back to Altera. Like, really? Really? Ugh. Space fair balloon. That's hilarious. I'm sorry, Altera is awful. Reginald. High calorie count. Does that mean anything? It's a shame that I couldn't plant my own rouge cradles. Um. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion cannon retrieved. 
Thank you. Now go away. Endring. Hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored, I take a spacewalk in my skivvies. Calorie intake recommended. Alright, calorie intake recommended. Uh, stop that. <laughs> oh, no, that's a... Oh, I need two titanium ingots. Oh, and two pieces of lead. Okay. likely to find that. Probably in the massive crash, but who knows. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, look at all of the scannies. Oh, and metal salvage. Okay. Stop. Why? Perfect, got tons and tons of metal salvage, which should serve my titanium requirements. Now all I need is lead. Oh. Okay. Two pieces of lead. I can do this. wiring which is why I'm not gonna get too upset that it's not lead okay titanium it 
eternally useful. Okay. So just casual FYI, we're heading into Reaper, Reaper territory. I can hear it. Where's that sea moth of mine? 176 meters. Uh huh. seconds. So I need to craft the titanium ingot. And then I can build the moon pool. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Okay. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I, it's considering that to be a whole new base, and so it won't let me dock my prawn. That sucks. Uh, I need lithium. Lithium.
Nice. Okay. Let's take a breather for a moment. See what we've got. Cat and hot dog Hollister. I know that one. Yep. Oh, yes, I remember that one. Okay. I've been wondering how many episodes there would be to this whole series. Um, just because there's like all the biomes to explore and all the scannies to get. Um, I'm gonna say we're already at episode 9. I'm gonna say like 75-ish episodes. Vehicles. Oh my god. Um, Gel times two enamel glass diamond. Glass. Wow. Okay, half the enamel glass. Don't know about the lead. Aerogel, I need another one. Glass steel ingot, I need two. Two diamonds. Okay, that won't be the end of the world. But it's also not going to be easy. Alright, clearly it's going to take me a couple of minutes to get this built. 
That's okay. Worst case scenario, I'll just come back when this is built and we'll worry about it later. Here it is, a gentle slope and a fuck everything and everyone land. I am, to the best of my ability, going to explore the glowy thing right there. I, are you shitting me right now? No, 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 no. Uh, what do I Eat food, drink water. Shut up about my inventory being full. Shut up about my inventory being full. Oh god, I'm 224 meters down. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? Nope. I am not certain whatever I'm doing is worth it. Which is why I'm going to safety and up. seconds. Yeah, I will make it. Choke. Once we build the prawn suit, then we can start exploring. Ooh. No, my inventory is full full. Um, jeez. I had to put some of these first aid kits back. I picked up like six of them. Oh, fun. Uh... Wait, it that. That's hilarious, but also, why would you do that? Welcome aboard, Captain. Why would you make that a mechanic? J <sighs> oh, is that, wait. Thank God! Oh my... Why would you do that? Just why? Just why? out of titanium. Um, more importantly, set that four, because my base is going to be flooded.
Wait, how do I? Okay. <sighs> That's awful. Um. No titanium whatsoever. All right, honey, I'm making a titanium run again. We're also going to need to make a plasteel ingot, two plasteel ingots rather, for my prawn suit, but we'll focus on that next episode. Um, yes, yeah, so we gotta go down, we gotta fabricate. And then once I've fabricated, life will be happy. <laughs> Titanium. 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 Where did my... Okay, so Seamoth... Alright, Seamoth can now go... in the moon pool. Nice. Nice. There it is. Ooh. Nice. And this goes all the way down to the bottom of my base. Hell yes. Okay. Um. Nice. 
cooked boomerang. Heap cooked boomerang. Nice. Um, era gel. That was something that I needed. Wiring kit. Not sure about. Titanium ingot. Definitely need that. Uh, lithium times two. Where did I get my lithium before? And I'm running low on water. Lithium. Um... Oh wait, lithium I can get near where second officer Keen is. Um Yeah, he's five hundred meters away. Welcome aboard, Captain. I can find second officer Keen. Systems Sparse Reef right here. That's fine and dandy. I'm also a little bit better equipped to go looking for that other life pod, but that'll be oh, later. Wreck! Oh, that is a wreck! That is a big wreck. How's my inventory looking? Like I can go explore. S N D D. Sorry, second officer Keen, but vehicle console, vehicle upgrade console. Oh vehicle my god! Acquired. That's amazing. Like thermal plant fragment. I think I already. Oh, no. Near blueprint. I Acquired. did not. Torpedo arm. It won't be. In just five. In a second. There we go. There we go. Near blueprint. Acquired. Mm hmm. Okay. Running a little low on oxygen, so I'll dip back into my moon pool. I, uh, sea moth, rather. Okay. That looks like a one-way ticket to lithium and whatnot, which is exciting. I thought that was like a desk or something I could scan, but nope. Nope. Okay, interesting. Oh. Light stick fragment. Okay. 
Let's see what I have for power sources. Already scanned the chair. Thermal plant fragment. Desk? Nope, I already got in the desk. Shame. That bioreactor fragment. Bioreactor fragment. Where is the entrance to this friggin' room with this thing? It's right, right here. Okay. okay. All right. Warning: maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. about the sealed door. Did I ever get this sealed door in my last game? I'm not sure. What's up here? Reinforced dive suit. Nutrient clock. Ooh. Station fragment. Uh, tell me there's more. There is not more. Well, shit. Alright. Oh, wait. Seek fluid intake. I'll get there. One full fragment. Um, all right, where did my seam cloth go? All right, now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yep, <sighs> there's my life pod. So since I need to seek food intake, I'll do that. Um, and then I will continue the hunt for everything I need to make uh, the prawn suit next episode. Um, as well as finding fragments to the modification station. Because I realize now that when I got the vehicle upgrade console, I thought that was the modification station, but it was not. It was just a vehicle upgrade console. Um, once I have the prawn, then I'll start seeing about finding all the fragments to the Cyclops and building this Cyclops, which is when we'll really start having fun, because then we can explore things without worrying about dying too terribly much. to remember that I am seeking fluid intake. Uh, so I need to be on the lookout for bladderfish. And I will be very, very happy when I don't have to be seeking fluid intake any longer. Because 
I think there's a special suit that helps you seek fluid intake. Okay. Here we are. Home. Sweet home. Even though this hasn't been my home in quite a while. Alright. Alright, so clearly this will be a find one bladder fish and then... sure I caught that last bladder fish. Oh, but there we can fabricate me some food while I'm at it. Hmm. Fine. Seek fluid intake immediately. I am. I did get that second bladder fish. Drink, drink. Vital signs stabilizing. Yep. Oh. More water. Okay. So let's go on the hunt for some bladder fish. Hmm. There's one. Oh, there's two actually. One. Nope. Four, there's four. Mm. Oh. Always need extra titanium. time to round off the episode. Okay. Actually, that's cool. That is... That's an eclipse! There was an eclipse! That's cool. There was an eclipse! Oh, that's so cool! a bunch of water for later and then we'll round off the episode here um. then that is it for this episode thank you everyone so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode bye